Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Tanner. To date, we're going to be talking about Tesla software update 2019.16.2, which brings some awesome and unexpected features, including improvements to century mode, as well as the vehicle visualization and new lane departure features. All right, so let's go ahead and get straight into this. Before we do so though, if you guys are in the market to purchase a Tesla vehicle, regardless of whatever it is, you can actually get 1,000 free supercharger miles simply by ordering or configuring it through getsupercharging.com. It's like the gas station equivalent for Teslas basically, so 1,000 miles of driving completely free at getsupercharging.com. All right, now let's go ahead and get straight into this. Immediately, right off the bat, you'll notice that we have the brand new visualization right here over on the left-hand side, which actually does change based on what the vehicle is doing. So whether it's in park, whether you're driving, whether you're actually on a single lane road, whatever it happens to be, it will adjust accordingly, and it's much better than how it looked prior to this latest update. So let's go ahead and put it in drive here, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So immediately, you can see it goes from kind of a top-up view into viewing the vehicle from behind and you can see that it has picked up the other cars parked in front of me so Tesla still has some updates to do where that is concerned the car itself should know that those vehicles aren't moving and that they're actually parked they just have to do some minor UI tweaks to actually get that to display properly on the screen and to get it to be representative of what's actually going on in reality versus cars jumping around back and forth. That's been a problem with the Tesla visualization for quite a while now, and hopefully they're going to issue an update shortly that will remedy that, especially with all the fleet learning that's going on. Now, let's go ahead and put it back into park, and we're actually going to delve into some of these features, most notably the brand new enhancements to Sentry Mode, which I, for one, am incredibly pumped on. Like, I can't even explain how awesome it is. I was actually going to make a video semi-recently talking about this, and I do apologize that the vehicle is a little bit dirty right now. This was a surprise release and I just wanted to make sure that I got this video out to you guys as soon as possible. But let's go ahead and delve into these updates inside of release notes and we can see what we're actually dealing with here. So at the top you can see that it mentions visualization or driving visualization. It says that it has been adjusted to automatically zoom in and out to better utilize the screen space and to inform you when a vehicle is detected in your blind spot. And of course the visualization remains zoomed out when driving on highways. Now, for century mode improvements, this is one of the big ones, guys. Tesla says, quote, it is now easier to enable or disable century mode by tapping the century mode icon at the top of your touch screen when your car is in park. You can see right here, we have this little black dot. When we tap it, we actually see that it turns red like the regular sentry mode icon right there. And of course that denotes that we now are inside of sentry mode. Once we exit the vehicle, close the door, it will start monitoring its surroundings and of course recording them as well. We can turn that off just by tapping on it like so. And I'm actually going to go back inside of release notes there. But the sentry mode goodness does not stop there. Tesla has finally enabled the option to keep sentry mode on by default. They say, quote, your car can also default sentry mode to always be enabled when your vehicle is parked by going to controls, safety and security sentry mode on. If selected, you can exclude your home, work and or your favorite places by selecting the check boxes. Now, if a location is selected, sentry mode will be disabled when your car is parked near those locations. Now, you might be wondering, well, why is something like that useful? Well, for example, when I'm here parked at my house, I know my car is going to be in my garage so I don't need sentry mode to be enabled in that specific instance so we can check that to kind of disable sentry mode at those specific locations and of course you can program all of that in very very easily I'm not going to walk through those steps however I will show you guys where you can actually go to get sentry mode to always be enabled and then of course to disable those certain locations where you don't want it to turn on because of course that does consume extra battery in fact Tesla won't even let you turn on sentry mode unless your car is above 20% now here's something else pretty interesting. So we have advanced lane departure avoidance. So now you have a few different options inside of touch controls, autopilot lane departure. You can select from the following quote assist. Your car will attempt corrective steering back into the driving lane if an unintended lane departure is detected when traveling between 25 and 90 miles per hour, 40 and 145 kilometers per hour respectively. When steering intervention occurs, the designated lane is highlighted in blue. 
and it says, warning, your steering wheel vibrates when an unintended lane departure is detected. So for instance, when you don't use your turn signal, it will try to overcorrect that and put you back inside of your lane. And you can of course disable that so you can turn it off. So it says disable both steering assistance and steering wheel vibrations when an unintended lane departure is detected, which by the way, is all it would really do previously is just kind of vibrate the steering wheel itself to let you know, hey, you're about to go out of your lane. Now they also say no lane departure avoidance features are intended to help keep you safe, but they do not work in every situation and do not replace the need to remain attentive and in control. That is incredibly important guys. Obviously you have to maintain full awareness when at the wheel at all times, even with all of these awesome autopilot features and the new ones that are being rolled out all of the time. It is paramount that you stay alert and fully present so that way you can resume control at any given point. And this is just something to help you when you are in control, if you accidentally start to swerve out of your lane, it will overcorrect that and put you back inside of your lane. Now, something else that's also pretty cool is actually the addition of emergency lane departure avoidance. Now, to improve safety, emergency lane departure avoidance is designed to steer your vehicle back into the driving lane if a potential collision is detected. This is really cool. To further this point, quote, when emergency steering intervention occurs, the designated lane line is highlighted in red, a warning on the touchscreen is displayed, and a chime will sound. The setting is always enabled when you start your vehicle, but can be turned off for a single drive by going inside of settings, controls, autopilot, emergency lane departure avoidance. Now this next one is very cool. It pertains to software updates. You now have the ability to finally control when you receive software updates, and you can toggle on the option to be a among the first to try some of these awesome new features that Tesla rolls out on a regular basis, guys. This car has gotten so much better over time, I can't even express it. And I'm just so thankful that now we have sentry mode and the option to keep it turned on at all times. I was constantly pulling my phone out of my pocket, turning on sentry mode inside of the app, just like you guys saw at the beginning of the video. That is now a thing of the past. So I am super pumped for that. And finally, we do have Swedish language support. So I'm just going to go inside of some of these settings and actually show you guys them and Maybe we'll talk about them in a later video, like the emergency lane departure warnings, but I wanna make sure that I do that video properly because obviously I don't wanna advise doing something like that. It's incredibly dangerous. You have to do it responsibly when you're actually demoing it. So I have to make sure that everything is properly set up, safe, and that way, you know, we have the proper disclaimers in place for that. But at any rate, let's go ahead and check out some of these settings for those lane departure warnings, as well as sentry mode. So inside of the vehicle settings here, we can go to safety and security. We'll start with sentry mode first. We're going to scroll down to sentry mode right here. We can tap to turn it on. So now it will always be on by default when you exit your car and you can also exclude your home. So I'm going to exclude my home right here. I don't have my work set and I don't have any favorites set right now, but I just wanna exclude my home location. So that way it doesn't have that extra drain while it's just sitting in my garage. Now it's on. And if you want additional information on sentry mode, I'm going to leave this up on the screen for a second so you guys can screenshot it or pause the video and read through it. But basically what it does is of course, as I said earlier, it just starts recording everything persistently while the vehicle is in park. And then when an event is detected, it will save it onto your flash drive. It will actually denote it and mark that it is a saved instance or event. It will actually alert you when you get inside of the vehicle that an event has been detected. And that way you can review the footage if you so choose. And then if a break-in occurs, it actually uploads the footage to Tesla servers, plays a loud chime on the, on the car system, the sound system. And that way it hopefully deters break but that's basically it, that's sentry mode. So now sentry mode is always on by default. Now I wanted to quickly just show you guys some of the options for the lane departure. So inside of, um, it should be inside of autopilot, remember? We do have the option right here 
for, if we scroll down, lane departure avoidance. So we have the ability to actually toggle on assist now, which again, will monitor those lane departures. And if it detects one that was unintended, it will kind of steer you back inside of your lane. That again, seems really cool. And I really do want to make a video on that, showing you guys how exactly that works, provided I can get the circumstances exactly right. And then we have the option to toggle on a few things like emergency lane departure avoidance, which is now new. And then we have some other things as well, which have already been there. The blind spot collision warning chime, which I noticed recently in the last few updates has been added. The automatic emergency braking, the obstacle aware acceleration. These are all safety features that are meant to just be used as safety features and not something that you should fully rely on. And that basically wraps up this video, guys. I really hope you liked it. We have some awesome enhancements to sentry mode. Finally, thankfully, we still have a few things that I, for one, am hoping for. Like, for instance, when sentry mode is turned on, you guys saw at the beginning of the video when it's detecting something close to the vehicle, like a potential break-in or just someone walking by and it pops up on the screen saying that it's recording. It's very, very, very hard to see in direct sunlight. So hopefully Tesla actually takes advantage of the ambient light sensor in the vehicle and when it's daytime they make the display a um, like a brighter color like for instance they could have the background instead of be black they could have it be white that way you know you can actually see that the display is on it's really hard to see through these windows when um, sensory mode is actually active and it pops up with that warning unless it's nighttime so that's really the only other thing that I think that they could add to make sensory mode absolutely perfect but Guys, that wraps up this video. I, for one, am incredibly happy as a Tesla Model 3 owner. And if you want to be among the ranks of a Tesla owner, then all you have to do is just visit GetSupercharging.com to get 1,000 free miles on either a brand new 3S or X or an inventory vehicle. Guys, don't miss out. This is an awesome time to own a Tesla. And uh, again, until next time, this is Tanner signing out. See you later. Prelance on prelance on prelance on prelance on prelance on prelance are sober. My run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I saw